Hello Travelers, this is Yus here and today I'll be bringing you my 400 sub special and yes, we finally made it to this awesome number and I would like to thank you guys so much for this to the guys that have been subbed to me since, for, since day one and the guys that have been joining me through my way to this number and to the, the guys that recently subbed to me thank you all from the bottom of my heart I hope you guys will enjoy the stay and I'll be doing my best to bring you guys the best of the best of course so yeah in this match we're gonna be playing Pokemon Creepy Black which is a hack of Fire Red that has the Generation 1 sprites and of course you guys know how much I love the older gens I love all the generation of course I love Pokemon but uh, these games were the ones that I grew up with of course and this is gonna be a gener Generation 3 game and uh, I'm battling Diego the AGSS the man himself he has great content on, on his channel so be sure to check out his channel after this and uh, yeah, uh, it was pretty fun and I'm using Meowth, Ghastly and since I'm stupid and completely retarded I used the Ice Punch on Ghastly so I faced palm super hard, I'm like what the hell, why did I use Ice Punch on this? Ugh. Anyways, uh, it didn't play a big factor on this match but it's a misplay, a miss, eh, a miss save is a miss save so got their Pikachu uh, without Light Ball because Light Ball in Little Cup is just like too broken and since uh, we're doing just like uh, only Gen 1 Pokemons and uh, Pichu is uh, a second generation Pokemon uh, Pikachu is considered a Little Cup guy so yeah they're Charmander with the Berry the Select Berry to increase the speed that Pokemon is so freaking good just like it's uh, final form Charizard Clefairy again same story as Pikachu since Clefa is a second gen Pokemon Clefairy is gonna be considered the basic form and we have their seal which is like the specially specially defensive guy and Clefairy is like the physical defensive guy so yeah little cup match versus Diego hope you guys enjoyed and let's get straight into the battle so we're getting ready for this intense custom little cup battle and there you go it's gonna be a battle against the one the only diego the awesome dhe double s so let's get straight into it let's see how intense and awesome this battle is gonna be so diego is gonna lead with his meowth and guess what i'm gonna lead with my meowth so what do we have there we have the same lead my Meowth is Choice Banded with Fake Out, and uh, I don't know which variant he is, so I'm just gonna go for that. A Choice Banded Fake Out, yes, that's a third gen set for you, and that's gonna do like half damage to his Meowth. Of course, he's gonna flinch, and yes, now I'm gonna decide to switch out, and I'm gonna go into my Ghastly predicting the normal move. Hopefully, he won't overpredict, but it's late, it's like too early to overpredict, so. Diego is gonna switch out to his Ghastly, I'm like, what the hell? Are we going to do the same things and have the same guys in the scene? So, yeah, it was pretty funny. So, there is his Ghastly, and uh, I was thinking of it, and then I decided just to go for the T-Ball, trying to get as much damage as possible in everything. And he's gonna decide to switch out, and he's gonna send in his uh, uh, Abra, and that's pretty nice, because uh, having damage on Abra is pretty nice. As you already know, Abra can be a threat in Little Cup. If you remember my second generation battles with Cheese and Mark and... Oh my god, Abra always doing so much damage. So now I'm gonna switch into my specially defensive guy of this team, which is the Seal. And hopefully take some psychic hits pretty nicely. And yeah, oh my god, I love this first gen sprite. And in comes the psychic and look at the damage. Abra is too strong. Like, specially defensive seal? Are you serious? And he gets a special fell, which is like, uh, it doesn't really matter because, oh my god, even with the Oranberry, I won't be able to survive another one. But I was hoping for main damage or something, but nope, he's just gonna go for the Thunder Punch, and that's, that's super effective, and it's an Abra, and Thunder Punch is special in this gen. That's an overkill. Seal is gonna go down, and I have to send in something else. Abra is a threat. 
Uh, I have to go to my Meowth just for the fake outs, choice banded fake outs. Uh, I was debating either go for the fake outs, playing, playing it safely, or go to for the Shadow Ball, predicting the Ghastly to come in. I decided to go for the Shadow Ball, and he switched. But he's not gonna send in his Ghastly, he's gonna send in his Porygon. I'm like, oh my god, another normal type, god. Uh, oh my god, he has pickup, so now he know. Uh, pickup what? I don't know. I have pickup because I'm a Meowth. I have no idea. Because technician wasn't a thing this generation. Anyways, I'm gonna send in my defensive guy of the team, which is Clefairy. And I don't know if Porygon is gonna be defensive or specially defensive, so I decided just to send in my Clefairy. He went for agility, I'm like, oh my god, this isn't looking good at all. And uh, I'm really hoping that Clefairy can take this hit pretty nicely. So, I decided to go for the return and trying to get as much damage as possible. He's gonna go for the uh, Ice Beam. I'm like, oh, come on. You're not gonna get a freeze, right? <laughs> because, oh my god, I've been playing so much first generation and freeze there is like broken and hacks in general. So anyways, I'm gonna go for the return, it's gonna do a lot! I'm like, okay, Clefairy, you're a monster, but then again it resulted in a crit. I'm like, oh my god, this is lame. Crits aren't very nice. Uh, he has our orange berry, it's gonna hit, heal uh, a lot of his health, and I wonder how a non-crit return will do, so uh, let's see, he's gonna go for the ice beam, uh, that's gonna hurt, but thankfully I do have my berry, which is gonna heal me uh, after this turn, of course, uh, I'm gonna go for the return, and that's not gonna do too much, of course, and I expected it to do a bit more, to be honest, because, oh my god, that crit did too much. Anyways, there's my berry, my orange berry is gonna heal me, and uh, another one, if I survive, of course, I, I normally should survive, looking at the damage prior to that, and uh, yeah, hopefully no crit, and yep, I do survive, and Clefairy will be able to finish off the Porygon with the return, so there, we're looking pretty nice there, and this threat as Porygon is gonna go down, and yep, there's... Clefairy with the kill. <laughs> Anyways, Diego is gonna send in, he's gonna thin, think about it a little bit and then he's gonna decide to send in his Doduo and I decided just to keep my Clefairy as father. First I was thinking to pretty much switch or something but I decided not to risk it and just let my Clefairy go and have a safe switch into something so uh, yeah, he's gonna finish me off with the Drill Pack and I'm gonna decide to send in my Pikachu. And Pikachu outspeeds Doduo, Thunderbolt is a one-hit KO, so I decided to do something fancy here. So in comes Pikachu, oh my god, that fat sprites from first gen. I decided to go for an unprotected focus punch, but for some weird reason Diego decided to stay in, I don't know why. I pretty much doubt that he predicted the focus punch, because who would go for that in his sane mind? And I lost my focus, I'm like, oh my god, Diego, why? Why do you stay in with Doduo? Uh, anyways, thankfully I do have the orange berry that's gonna heal a little bit of uh, HP of Pikachu, and uh, now I'm just gonna go for the Thunderbolt. Just try to finish off this thing as soon as possible, and there you go. There's the downfall of the Doduo, and Pikachu's looking strong. Unfortunately, Diego has this monster that you're going to see. The monster known as Diglett, and Diglett is just a monster in 3rd gen, uh, well not Diglett, Dugtrio, that thing can revenge kill everything in OU, which is a problem, and in comes the Diglett, uh, yeah, Arena Trap, I'm not even gonna try to switch out, <laughs> yeah, Earthquake will finish me off, and Diglett is super fast, Pikachu will unfortunately be demolished by that. So yeah, Pikachu is gonna go down, and I'm gonna decide uh, to switch, well, to send in my uh, Ghastly. Because this generation, it's not like first gen, uh, Ghastly do have the Levitate, and most Dog Trio sets in OU are choice banded, so I'm pretty sure that this Diglett is choice banded as well. And here, I was gonna go for the Thunderbolt, but I decided to go, oh, I have Ice Punch, I'm gonna go for the Ice Punch, even though it's illegal. Oh my god, but Ice Punch, 
and Thunder Punch, uh, I mean Thunderbolts, will do the same amount of damage to the Switch, so it didn't really matter, that's why in the, that's what I meant in the team preview, where I said that Ice Punch didn't play a huge factor. I'm gonna win the speed side there, and I'm gonna be able to finish off the Ghastly, which is nice. Uh, unfortunately, I did it with an illegal move, but oh my god, that sucked, really. But anyways, thankfully it didn't matter that much. Oh my god. <clears throat> so Diego is gonna send in his Abra. Abra is faster than Ghastly. I definitely, definitely have to switch out because Ghastly is gonna be an important move, especially because he, ha he still has that Meowth. And I am, I'm gonna decide to switch into my uh, Charmander. Or. Yeah. I decide to go into my Charmander, hoping to live a hit and activate my Salak Berry so I can outspeed everything and hopefully sweep. And yes, in comes the Psychic and Charmander! He's gonna survive with 1 HP, oh my god, Charmander! One of my favorite starters of all time, and it's gonna activate the Salak Berry, so everything is ready to sweep, and I'm just gonna go for the Fire Blast. And uh, Diego is gonna decide to switch out, and he's gonna send in his Diglett, and a Fire Blast is just too powerful. And yep, it's gonna be a one-hit KO. Unfortunately, I'm gonna miss the first one, and uh, I'm gonna pray to God to not miss this one because if I do miss, it's gonna be a good game. But thankfully, I am gonna hit the Fire Blast, and that's gonna be a one-hit KO. Diglett is out of the way. The huge threats of Little Cup is gonna go down, and Charmander is looking strong. Unfortunately, Diego still has his Meowth, which. As you already know, he does have the priority fake out, and that's gonna be able to finish me off. I'm like hoping, please don't have fake out, and unfortunately it does, and I'm I'm at one HP. Definitely, definitely not surviving there. And Charmander did a great, great job taking down that Diglett. And yep, I'm gonna decide to go into my uh, Ghastly, <clears throat> and Ghastly normally should outspeed me out. And uh, since Meowth doesn't have the best special defense, I'm gonna be able to finish it off with the Thunderbolts. And yep, that's the end of the Meowth. And Diego will only have his Abra left. So let's see what's gonna happen. And yep, Meowth is gonna go down. And in comes the Abra. So the game is going pretty well for me for now. It's pretty much almost a good game. And yeah. Abra is like uh, at a low amount of health, and I still have my choice banded Meowth in the back. So, uh, of course, Abra is gonna outspeed, and I do have the explosion trying to do something weird. Maybe he's gonna miss the psychic because Gen 3 isn't Gen 1, psychic never misses. <laughs> yeah, now I have my last guy, which is my Meowth, and fake out since Abra has super bad defenses. It's gonna be able to finish off the Abra, and that was an intense battle, Diego, I hope you guys enjoyed! And yeah, leave your awesome feedback as always, if you're not subbed already, please uh, press the subscribe button, and I'll be trying to do, uh, to bring you guys more awesome content from the past and from the present. Unfortunately, Gen 4 and Gen 5 will be ending, and yep! I did a final battle with Diego Generation 4 last week, if you missed it please check it out and I'm planning to bring you guys one final Generation 5 match uh, next week uh, against one of the most experienced battlers in that tier, uh, my good friend Kebab, so please stay tuned for that and again thank you guys for 400 su subscribers and yep. Please check out Diego's channel, he has amazing content, and please check out the channels of my friends that helped me and supported me uh, in the long run, and yep, they are amazing, uh, they are definitely worth your time, so please check them out, and thank you from the bottom of my heart, again, um, I'm very thankful for everything, so yep, hope you enjoyed, leave your awesome feedback as always, and I'll be seeing you guys next time, have a nice day, and peace out!